entertaining car. It always is entertaining. No limits that seem to be the only ones who can get stitch this sort of stuff together. It's gold. Uh, it's great to see these young boys down the front here uh, putting it all on the line, and that's what it's all about. They want to they want to make statement fights. They're happy to hand over their purse. Good luck to them. Let them go at it, and uh, all the more entertaining for the crowd. But as you said, I'm very very proud to sit here representing these two young guys at the, the, these stage of their careers, and. Uh, two of Australia's premier knockout artists sitting right here, Benny, so anything's possible uh, with these guys and it's great to see Liam Wilson come back on the back of the Navarrete loss, which we will forever dispute, but nevertheless, Liam, uh, the roadmap forward for Liam's a very busy one and we intend to have him back getting that belt that he belongs to and that he owns that's currently being held by Navarrete uh, next year, early next year. So it's exciting times. Yeah, tell us about Carlos Alanis, um, world number 13. He's undefeated in 12 from Argentina. Um, why is he a good opponent now for Liam Wilson? Oh, look, any, any of these guys that are ranked in the top 15 in this in this particular weight class are all class acts, mate. If you go down the list, they're all good fighters. They all bring something to the table. And for us, it was a matter of finding somebody that could challenge Liam and let him uh, let him show that his confidence is back and that he, he belongs at the elite level. I think... On the back of Navarrete, everyone agrees that uh, Liam Wilson not only won the fight, but belongs at the elite level, at world championship level. And so for us as a group with no limits, it's just a process of building a roadmap to put him back there in the best position that we can. As a manager of Tim Zoo as well as Nikita, you'll remember well the build-up to the Jack Brubaker-Tim Zoo fight. It was the first time we really saw Tim getting angry with an opponent. Jack clearly had an impact on him and we saw the emergence of the soul taker. What do you think uh, Jack's presence does for Nikita? Oh, look, I, lo I love Jack. I think he's the ultimate uh, presenter when it comes to boxing and he brings something to the party that many don't. And anyone that thinks, like George said earlier, that Jack Brubaker's a pushover, this guy has a, a ton of experience. And from our perspective, it was all about putting Nikita in front of so many different options, different fighters and different styles. And to get Jack Brubaker at this time in Nikita's career. Many say it's an easy fight for Nikita. I don't believe so. I think it's going to be a tough test. And I think Jack, uh, knowing Jack who he is and how he likes to uh, present himself, that he'll bring that entertainment 100% and uh, him and Nikita will put on a great show. And it is an eliminator for the Australian Super Welterweight title, which is currently held by Dylan Biggs. What would an Australian title mean if Nikita can get through this fight and challenge for that? Yeah, I think Nikita's very early in his career and it, uh, I think under most circumstances uh, Australian title might be a little bit further down the line but Nikita's proven uh, without a doubt that he's made the, the climb back into the pros very quickly and very successfully and taking care of everybody that's in his way and uh, whilst at, from our team we expect him to do the same when he fights Jack uh, and then bounce straight back and uh, given the opportunity with no limits we'd love to have Dylan Biggs when the opportunity arises. Thank you so much, Glenn Jennings. And thanks for joining us here today. We're going to head now to Liam Wilson. As mentioned, he fights against Carlos Alanis, who is undefeated in 12. Liam's most recent fight, he challenged controversially for the world title in Arizona. And Liam, we rewatched that fight this morning and then drove here together. You were very quiet on the drive after having watched that. What was that experience like for you, having to put yourself back through that? Yeah, it was. Um, th that was the first time I watched the fight back in a in a while. I um, I haven't watched it since past the sixth round. Um, you know, it's, it's quite daunting. I felt like I could be sitting in today as a world champion, and I should be. I fell short in February against Navarrete, and you know, I'm just excited to be. I'm excited to be back here uh, in my return fight. Um, you know, showcasing my skills and getting back in the world title contention against another tough opponent. Like always, I'm always in the hard fights and this is no different this time. Is there any part of you that, sitting here today, even though you don't have the belt, feels a little bit like you are or at least should be a world champion? Yeah, I should be a world champion. Valdez is fighting next weekend and it should be Wilson versus Valdez. Unfortunately, it's not, but um, we'll get there. Um, you know, I'm going to get a good decisive win here in good fashion, whether it be knock knockout or a boxing, boxing masterclass and we'll get back in the contention for a world title. You've had a bit of a look at Carlos Alanis. Uh, what have you made of him? Yeah, he's a nice, neat boxer. Um, you know, it's nothing I haven't seen before. He's basic. Um, look, I think my, my skills will, will ultimately come out on top. Um, you know, I'm looking forward to make a statement.
exciting for you to be a part of a show like this uh, at a historic venue like the Horton Pavilion, live on main events and, and part of a double header with um, an exciting uh, fight like this. Yeah, I feel very privileged to be a part of this show. Um, headlining with Nikita Zhu, my teammate Ben Hussain. Um, I'm very excited to you know, get in there after a, a, bit of a, a bit of a slow start to the year. Um, I'm excited. Well, it's great to have you back, Liam Wilson. Looking forward to seeing that fight and seeing the return of Liam Wilson on this huge show.